Greetings, y'all. It's Michael Romeo, and I'm not talking about books this time. A few days ago, I took part in a tag that was two truths, one lie. And now it's time to reveal which one was the lie. Now, I want to say that of the three statements that I gave, all of them got votes. But the one that was the lie received only one vote, so only one person got it correct. Okay, so here we go. My first statement was that I drove four and a half hours to have dinner in New York City at one of my favorite restaurants. And the answer to that one is correct. That is a truth. Uh, my roommate at the time and myself and a mutual friend were in Providence just having a kind of a shopping day and having fun and um, it came time to start thinking about what we wanted to do for dinner before heading back home and I don't remember if it was me or my roommate oh, and by the way the person I'm referring to as my roommate in a couple of years would be my wife so just saying uh, but one of us suggested you know just kind of commented really that you know I'm in the mood for stony walk and the other one laughed I, mean, I forget which way it went which who said to what and who laughed and uh, the friend that was with us was like what Where, where's the stony walk was what about it and after some conversation back and forth we decided it really was kind of a quirky idea but why not so we got in the car we headed south on I-95 and started heading to the Stony Walk. And on the way, we uh, phoned some friends who live in New York City, said, we're coming, do you want to join us? They said, sure. So when we got to New York, we pulled into Kew Gardens and picked them up at their apartment. And from there, went to Flushing to the Stony Walk and had dinner. So that is real. And so my third statement that I made was that I was a published author in the traditional sense, not in self-publishing. And um, that one got a lot of, lot of votes, surprisingly, but it is true. I am a published author. Um, I had a short story published in the 1980s, late 1980s, in a small Canadian publication called Dreams and Visions, which was a quarterly short story anthology. Um, they took one of my short stories and paid me absolutely nothing for it. And uh, the other time I was published was one of my poems, actually a poem that I've read here on Poetry Thursday uh, called A Letter to Dad, uh, was published in the newsletter for the National Alzheimer's Association. And uh, didn't get paid for that one either. But hey, I, my work got out there. People saw it. Uh, but that's as far as it got. I have written novels. I have written more short stories, but none of them ever went anywhere. Um, so that was true. So therefore, the one that is the lie was that I took formation as a Benedictine monk. I didn't do it. What I did do was I took formation as a Benedictine oblate, which is different from a monk. It's a lay person who lives the uh, a, a monastic order's spiritual formula, I guess you could call it, in their daily life as they go about their work and go about their play and go about whatever they're doing. Um, I just was not good at it at all and uh, before it got to, to the end where I was going to take final vows as an oblate I did back out so that one was close but it was but to say it was formation as a monk was an outright lie and congratulations to the one that got that one correct I think I should have checked I think it was NP Hunt that got that one correct um, so congratulations on that one. I wish there was a prize, but there isn't, sorry. Um, so that's it. That's my story. And I look forward to your comments below on, on, on this and your reactions.
Talk to you later. Bye.